Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, I'll be making an argument for the truth of Islam from the prophecies of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Basically, this is about TV screens or screens of any kind. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the strongest proofs for the truth of Islam, and it is quite surprising to me that this hadith is not used nearly enough as it should be, given the fact that it is in Sahih Muslim. Now, let's get started. So here is the hadith Sahih Muslim 144a. <laughs> Zafar Razi Allah Anu said, I heard the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam observing, temptations will be presented to men's hearts as reed mat. Is woven stick by stick. And then uh, the basically the hadith then goes into the consequences of uh, people uh, watching those temptations right or having those temptations being presented to the, them and what happens to their hearts now here's a relevant part about the prophecy that i am using today Therefore, as i heard the messenger of allah observing temptations will be presented to men's hearts as reed mat is woven stick by stick right keep this in mind Temptations will be presented to men as reed mat. Now, what what does a reed mat look like? The picture on the left is a reed mat, right? <coughs> <coughs> the hadith is saying temptations will be presented to men as a reed mat. The picture on the right is a television. The similarity between a reed mat and a television is self-evident, right? How can this prophecy be about anything other than this? I mean, think about this. Is there a uh, non-literal explanation? Is there a literal explanation other than this? There is no explanation here other than this. This being about television or screens or something similar to this, right? Think about this point. At least not a clear-cut literal one. The point I am making here stands on a literal interpretation. Temptations will be presented to men as reed mats. Right? There is no way around this prophecy. Now why is this such a massive proof for the truth of Islam? Think about this. There is no other explanation at least that's evident right now about this prophecy being about anything other than TV screens or screens of other kinds other, unless we want to metaphorize the uh, hadith right but why should we uh, hadith unless uh, hadith at least at first should be taken on literal interpretations right unless there is a very strong reason not to now think about this Try to come up with an explanation for this hadith other than it being about TV screens or screens in general. There is no explanation here. Right? Just think about this. Now, how could anyone have known 1400 years ago about TV screens or screens? I mean, it's not possible. Right? Unless by revelation. Why would anyone make up something like this? There is no reason for someone to make up something like this. And this point is actually a proof for hadith preservation. If you have seen my arguments basically from prophecies for hadith preservation. So, I mean there is no way around this prophecy being a massive proof for the truth of Islam. Inshallah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. In my opinion, this is one of the strongest proofs for the truth of Islam. And a highly underrated one. Like this hadith isn't Sahih Muslim, this is not in some obscure work. This should be used more and more. I mean there, there is just no way around this hadith being a massive proof for the truth of Islam. Inshallah I hope you have enjoyed this video. Inshallah I will keep making more content like this. I I have exams basically which I did, which is the reason I didn't make a video for the past 3 days. Inshallah I will try to uh, make a video at least uh, every 2 days till next time. Assalamu alaikum.